This up right behind the ear. So just oh, make sure spot? with your knife you want to carry it right behind the ears like that. So you try to get the base of the skull. Exactly. Right you walk the base of the skull as best as possible. Pretty, yes. And the reason for that is that means we don't have to saw the head off. We can just, once you cut all the meat away, it's just the atlas vertebrae holding onto the skull. So you just hyperextend it and it pops right off. So now it's a little easier to come in and do some more close shaving. Anyone need a Halloween mask? There's <laughs> <laughs> anus right on the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cavernous. <laughs> so uh, once I've got the top, then I go down around the bottom. And in this case, you really, you hug the tail, because the tail is the, the spine, the bottom of that canal, of that canal. And I always pull the anus in the opposite direction from where I'm cutting. We'll just kind of continue to free I up. I don't know thought that's a bad thing, but after this prior statement, I don't <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. I think a lot of it, the reason why people have come to prefer the lean is our change in the lifestyle. True story. Most of our work has become, doesn't, it's not physically demanding. We're more sedentary than the calorie. Right. Because like you said, saturated fat is purest form and if you're active. Yeah, uh, then you crave it. But if you're not, it is a little, a little much. You know, that's rich. So now it's just kind of floating in there, in the canal, all the way around. And I nicked it, but I see my nick, so I, I'm going to tie it off below said nick. And this is just kind of tricky. You just have to do it a few times. Worst case scenario, you get some poop on the canal, you know, in this anal canal somewhere. And you then have an option. You can use the hose and spray it off, or you can cut it off. And the hose is usually never the best option because you're just... Spray it down the meat. Right. And usually, you know, you never, if you nick it and you squeeze a little bit out, it's just on like a dime, you know. You just cut out a little bit. You're not with your knife. And then when you get to here, the tip of the penis is actually a sac. It's got, it can have urine in it. So you have to give it a wide berth. But you already sideways kind of, and behind. You kind of already worked the bladder though when you first killed it, didn't you? Yeah, so. and the bladder's way up in here. It's inside the body cavity. So by then you should likely wouldn't have much, but, but yeah, there may be. Yeah. You see what they did? That's pretty brilliant. I mean, obviously, he's done this before and thought it through. You, can keep, uh, great. Can you can probably do most of it with your knife, and you can cut right on top of the penis with your knife. It is extremely strong. You're not going to cut it. And the bladder will come with it. Sometimes if it's giving you a lot of resistance, I come back in with a knife. So close. Oh, that's a uh, part of the his 
prostate. That's yeah. a penis or his urethra. Beautiful. Alright. That looks great. So now everything, the intestines are just sitting here and here. They're not attached to the walls of the belly. Everything is connected to the spine with fascia like this. Um, so it's a combination of breaking the fascia just with your hands. So you go down just like that. And I find I, I push down when I break it, you know, and scooping up intestines from the sides. Clean on stuff a little bit. Um, scooping out stuff from the sides. So as you go down, you know, you can break stuff like this with your hands and then scoop intestines out the sides. So that's how it goes. Oh, we got uh, urine. Or is that? Yeah, I've got it closed now. It's coming out of there. There you go. Yeah, so see those strings? Just grab those and rip them. Alright, and then let me show you one thing. Yeah, you see the kidneys in there? So we want to stay outside of them. So as, as you these connectors, but without scraping stuff out of there. You know what I mean? So I would pull lots of intestine out now. Yeah, there we go. Let it fall in. Yeah, and you can kind of drape it over your arm, you know, to the opposite side of where it wants to fall. You know what I mean? Is he uh, He was, yes. yep. He was castrated. They'd be right back here. Large and in charge. There's the large intestine. Yeah. No liver. Liver not quite yet. It's a little lower. That's the spleen. Spleen. Yeah. yeah. Right. And pull out some intestines there. Nice. That's the small intestine. Until we just see the esophagus, which is right there. Now, cut the esophagus. Just a little bit of liver. Huh? Yeah. And the awful, <coughs> awful. So, sweet. Wow. Success. Timber. Okay, so now we've got lots of goodies in here. Um, everything is edible right now in here. Everything is eaten somewhere, somehow. So, with the knife, yeah, we'll put everything in the head tub. We've got this beautiful liver. And it's just connected to the stomach right there. You get the gallbladder underneath it. Yeah. We'll cut the gallbladder off. Yeah. And it's, it's a big sack that surrounds all the guts inside the pig. And it's got a, it's attached to the spleen here. Isn't, I watched one of those in Iron Chef ones, there's some famous dish you cook inside the, you like wrap the yeah. whatever in the call fat and then cook it? Yeah, yeah, everything. <laughs> um, anything. Just put anything in the call fat and call it good? Absolutely. It's just a web of fat, you know? So whatever, whatever you can think of that needs a little pork fat, which, you know, what doesn't? <laughs> like I wrap, I wrap turkeys in it. Yeah, I think that's Barbecue what it was. the turkeys, wrap a chicken in it, roast a turkey, wrap a leg of lamb in it, roast a leg of lamb, wrap little balls of sausage in it, bake that. <laughs> is it for your pate recipe yeah. that you have on, on your website? Right. This is wrapped in coffee. Yeah, and the pate recipe, which is just basically a meatloaf, you know, in a terrine. But before you put the meatloaf mix in with the liver and pistachios and brandy, you just lay the call fat in the loaf pan, and then you put the meat mix in, and then you fold the call fat over the top, and you pop it in the oven. So whatever you can think of to use it for is the proper use of it. It just bastes.
Donuts? Yeah. Donuts sounds awesome. Incidentally, the best donuts you'll ever have are donuts that are deep fried in leaf fat or tallow. Which is better. Mm -hmm. Tallow is the internal body fat of uh, cows that has been rendered. It's what McDonald's french fries used to be fried in. So there's the call fat, and it's really big. It's folded over on itself several times right now, so you can't quite see it. But it's just a beautiful lace network of fat. Call fat from a pig is pretty special. It, it's on all, all the other animals, quadrupeds, but it's not as good as it is on a pig. It's more delicate. Possible to unfurl. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. That's, that's awesome. That's pretty big. That's awesome. Yeah. Wrap around hamburger patties. Ooh, that's a good plan.